Java has launched three fantastic motorcycles. Out of that, two will be available in showrooms in December. The third one, Perak, will come later. Here is everything you should know about the new Javas. The engine details of the Java has made public earlier. Both the Java and the 42 has 293cc, single-cylinder, four-stroke, four-valve, double-overhead cam, fuel-injected, liquid-cooled engine, mated to a six-speed gearbox. It produces 27 bhp power and 28 nm of torque. You will be surprised if we compare these figures to its main rival, Royal Enfield. The Java engine has got same power output as the RE500cc engine and same torque figure of its 350cc. The Perak has got even more power and torque with a bigger engine at 334cc. This engine is similar to other Javas but with a bigger bore. It produces 30 bhp power and 31 nm torque. It is told that the engines have a flat torque curve which is available from very low down of the RPM. The weight of the Java and 42 is 170kg and both have 280mm front disc with ABS and rear drum brakes. Front tire is 1990-18 and rear 120-80 17-inch. Wheelbase is at 1369mm. The seat height too on the lower side at 765mm. Fuel tank is 14 liters. The design team did a great work by recreating the 50s and 60s design cues. From every angle, it's a classic. The steer drop tank, the headlights, the side covers, the streamlined engine design, the twin silencers, the mudguards, everything. Basically, the Java and the 42 are the same machine. Their differences are mainly in the headlight housing, the front mudguard, and the chrome covering on either side of the fuel tank. The Java is for purists because it looks nearly like the one sold here from 1965. But the 42 is a more modern representation of the retro design. With smaller front mudguard, matte black paint job, handlebar and side mirrors, separate headlamp case, etc. The tail lamp is well suited to the overall design. The Java's instrument port is looking like a Swiss watch. It has a steel outer ring and gold dial. The main dial is a speedometer. Its zero is at 2 o'clock position and 80 at 6 o'clock. There is a fuel gauge dial at 3 o'clock position and a digital odometer at the top. The 42's meter also has the same layout but in a separate port with an offset to right side. It is so stylish and got black dial with white markings in a matte black case. We can see the telltale light symbols in the dial, including coolant temperature, ABS and ECU. The odometer has two trip meters also. All modern technology is flawlessly integrated into the retro design. The twin cradle chassis neatly holding the radiator assembly and not looking out of place for a retro bike. Same applies to the engine. A modern fuel injected 4 valve liquid cooled engine is designed in a way to look like a 1950s air cooled one. The rack is longer and lower than the other two in true bobber style. It has got a monoshock and disc brake at rear. The minimalist tail looks awesome. As they said it is not production ready, I think there will be some changes to the bike when it hit the showrooms. It will launch as a true lifestyle motorcycle. The Java come with three classic colors. Java maroon, Java gray and Java black. On the other hand, 42 comes with six colors. Galactic green, Halley steel, Lumos lime, starlight blue, comet red and nebula blue. The people behind the resurrection of Java brand in the country is called Classic Legends Private Limited. It's a subsidiary of Mahindra and Mahindra. The Classic Legends is run by mainly three people. Anubam Tereja, Boman Nirani and Ashish Joshi. This Boman Nirani's father, Mr. Rusta Mirani, was the main man responsible for Java's first innings in India. He and his brother Farooq Irani founded Ideal Java and bring the icon in India in the 1960s. Anupam Tereja was once in Royal Enfield and he was instrumental in reviving the drowning RE brand. What is Royal Enfield today is the outcome of his work at that time. Ashish Joshi, now the chief executive officer of Classic Legends, has also worked in Royal Enfield earlier and been the managing director of Triumph India during 2012. So the Classic Legends have got experience and heritage 
to become a competitive player in the motorcycle industry. The names they given to the bikes are either quirky like Perak or mysterious like 42 or as straight as possible like Java. So what they meant by these names? The Perak is the name of an old Java motorcycle which is also a bobber. The bike has a prominent role in Java's history. It was developed secretly during the Second World War and introduced to the world in 1946. The Czech word Perak means spring, a reference to the sprung rear suspension, which is unique at that time. The streamlined engine design, which they carry on to this day, started using with this bike. And it was a newly developed 250cc two-stroke engine. Now you know what is Perak, then what is 42? Even Anupam Tareja wanted us to find the answer to that. And I can't control the curiosity. So I googled it and find this. The answer to the ultimate question of life, the universe and everything is 42. It's a joke in a novel of the English author Douglas Adam. So 42 has no meaning. It's just a name. Now what about Java? They said it was named after the first ever Java motorcycle. So naturally we have a curiosity to see that bike. This is the original Java. The first motorcycle from the Czech Java company. It was manufactured in 1929 and has a 500cc four-stroke engine. The 42 is the cheapest Java at Rs. 1,55,000 ex showroom Delhi. The interesting thing is that they decided this price after Mahindra Group Chairman Anand Mahindra's birthday. The date is May 15th and in numbers it's 15.5. Interesting, isn't it? The Java is priced at Rs. 1,64,000. Okay, you may be wondering whose birthday is it this time? I don't know, but this is my wedding date, 16.4. And the Perak's price is 1,89,000. You can book the Java by going to the Java Motorcycles website, javamotorcycles.com. Booking amount is Rs. 5,000. Click the book button, enter the basic details and verify your mobile number, make payment in the next page and you are done. Classic Legends have confirmed that they had signed agreement with 105 dealerships across India. So they will have a showroom in almost every city. Out of that 105, 64 showrooms will be operative by December 5. Deliveries will start by January or February of 2019.